So today we have quite the challenge on our hands. We're playing as Germany. We're going to be going democratic with a new better democratic Germany mod, which makes the game a little more interesting. But there is a twist. Every other country in this game will be going down either a fascist or communist route trying to conquer this world. So in a reversal of roles, we'll have to save the day. Or at least we'll, we'll try to. We'll do our best to try to. <laughs> It's gonna be kind of difficult, and Democratic Germany, at least in vanilla, is pretty weak, so I, d I don't know. This mod isn't overpowered, but it definitely makes them better. There's a lot of focuses that allow us to make friends with other Democratic nations, but considering they won't be Democratic, they're... There's not gonna be much help. Wait, what? Abolish democracy, what? Why? They make a better Democratic Germany mod, and the mod literally just ends with you banning democracy? What? Okay, we just won't do that focus, okay? But yeah, we'll oppose the mustache man to start things off and we'll get things going. As we prepare for everybody to invade us and invade each other, I, I don't know. Time for a very complicated and difficult war in this game. The German Civil War. Very, very, very hard war. But yeah, we'll pretty much just use this as an excuse to go into total mob. That's really the only purpose of it, really. <laughs> There we go. It's nice, now we've defeated our enemies at home, now we just have to defeat every other major country. And now we'll go on to free trade, because why not? We'll have the great free trade total mob in August of 36, oh yes. And we will recruit this guy, Hans. Wait, is it that Hans? Well anyway, we're, we're gonna recruit Hans to get some stability, lose some fascism, it, it's all great, because unfortunately by establishing free elections, we lose a lot of stability because the monarchists, you know, aren't gonna be happy. I guess they probably should be considering what this does, which we'll never do, of course. Oh yeah, so now we have the nice black, red, and yellow Germany flag. Very epic, oh yeah, and the UK is doing their thing, oh, and we're doing our thing. We're led by fallen Reichstag, and they're led by fallen government. Perfect, we're, we're friends. But we'll first do this focus, which is really good. It gives us minus 20% consumer goods, helps us repair all those broken factories, and gives us nine civilian factories. It kind of makes Total Mob completely worthless. We, we shouldn't have went on it now. I guess there's still the factory benefit. Yeah, and we'll just not be able to fill an army <laughs> for a while. The math there doesn't work out in our favor, minus 3% plus 2.5, we're still at negative conscription. Oh yes, America is doing their thing, all the colonies are independent, and we'll soon be going down there, um, their interesting routes. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I forgot about that one. But this'll be quite interesting, for sure. I don't really know what we're gonna do. We can't really declare on people. At least this focus tree gives us some options of some stuff we can actually do. So now we get to choose our leader. We can, of course, have Wilhelm as the leader of the Democratic Party, but, uh, we can't have that today, at least, at least not this time. Maybe someday though. We can either have Carl, who has a minus 5% consumer goods factories, which I usually would always choose, but Germany's only so big, and if we're not conquering people all the time, we're not gonna get that many new states, and therefore we're not gonna be able to build more factories, but this guy has a 10% more factory output modifier, which I think is superior, at least in this situation, so we're gonna go with that. We'll start going down some of our regular industry and research focuses. We really need to start getting some tanks and stuff. I also went off of Total Mo because it was kind of pointless. I was at like negative 15% consumer goods, so yeah, well, we'll, we'll just be at negative 3%. Wow, somebody is at least trying to spy on us. That's interesting. But we're the good guys, and everybody else is still technically the good guys, except I guess Britain's going down an interesting path. I bet it's probably Stalin. Also, for some reason, this mod changes the communist color. What, what? The Sudeten question? The government of Czechoslovakia has offered up the Sudetenland as a step towards coming to a mutual understanding. Wait, this is, I don't even think this is part of the mod. I think they're just doing their focus tree where they like, just are friends with us, except that guy's not even here. Sure, 
Thank you. Thank you, Czechoslovakia. Wow. We got a research boost for medium tanks so we can get the Panzer III in only 72 days and 37. Well, close, pretty much 38, but that's still nice. And then we can start producing that and then we can upgrade it later. We can also now do Danzig for guarantee as democratic Germany. Of course, Poland will be going, I think, fascist? I, I can't remember. Yeah, I think I set them to do that. So I, I don't know. Maybe they'll deny, but... Uh, I'd like to get Danzig, that, that'd be nice, at least for borders. Uh, first though, I should probably get my 12 civilian factories here. Wait, the Soviets are improving relations with us. Um, interesting. Yeah, fun. Also, France has declared themselves the third French Empire. They're Napoleon, so we'll see what happens there. He's probably gonna try to invade people and we'll just guarantee them and then stop him. And we tried having an actual referendum in Austria, not what Germany actually did, but yeah, um, it looks like they denied. Um, they, we should have rigged it. <laughs> I don't know. And we'll send an attaché to the constitutionalists and hope that they maybe can win against the loyalists under Douglas. Unfortunately, we can't send volunteers. Huh, and Italy is just peacefully adding people to the Pact of Rome. I guess there's really no issue here. It looked like they were justifying against Yugoslavia, but I guess they just decided to join. Also, Poland accepted Danzig for guarantees, so that's nice. Uh, that means our first war is probably gonna be against the Soviets. Soviets are only a couple focuses away from demanding Eastern Poland, which, I don't know, Poland may just seed it, but uh, if, with our guarantee, hopefully they'll be more resistant, and we'll create our own faction too with this focus. Huh, well this is an interesting development. The Soviets start war with Japan, and in an alliance with the Mexican Soviet Republic. I guess this is good, we can have our enemies just destroy themselves. And the Pact of Rome is at war with Romania, but Romania was the one who started the war, so I really can't be mad at them again. Like, if anything, I should be guaranteeing Hungary and attacking Romania, because they they were the belligerent. Why can't somebody next to me do something bad so I can invade them? Ugh. Okay, and Spain invaded Portugal. France joined their side. I think we have a good enough Casus Belli to invade these belligerent powers. It's nothing about Alsace Lorraine, I swear. It's just us trying to spread the good word of democracy across the world. Oh, apparently the focus below the Austrian referendum focus annexed them. Sorry, Pact of Rome, though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of stealing all of Austria's help there, but yeah, I'll gladly take it though. Also, the Soviets have a war goal against Poland, yeah. Hmm. Okay, the Soviets have declared war on Poland. Germany's under attack, nice. We're in a defensive war, that's good. <laughs> Czechoslovakia decided to just join us, so yeah, we'll, we'll take all their divisions and move them to the front. It's justifying against us. Hungary? Oh, oh no. There we go, okay, now we can liberate a democratic Russia, yeah. Hopefully Poland doesn't try to take much. But yeah, this is very nice. We have the good Russian Federation, Ukraine, Belarus. China has some border gore, um, but yeah, the, the, there's at least very blessed fascist communist China, I think. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, we got a lot and we're pretty strong. We, we got Portugal, Italy, and Romania, which is really good. I also am very happy we got Romania for some reason. I don't really know why. Because Romania was in France's faction. Like, France's faction is literally called the Kingdom of Romania Coalition. Anyways, time to um, invade France. Uh, they don't really have very many divisions on their border. I don't know what all their divisions are doing. My best bet is that they're literally just garrisoning their entire border with Great Britain and Africa. We have freed the world now. We have created infinite lag by releasing every country. <laughs> oh, I just realized Japan full occupied Mexico in the peace deal, huh? But anyways, I think that's it for now. I guess I could continue this and just continue conquering, or I mean, liberating random places. We gotta save Ireland, you know? That's, we, we still gotta do that. But for now, I think that's it. So I guess if you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.